Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. We're going up against Derrick Rose and the Chicago Bulls at the United Center tonight. And I wanted to talk to you guys about how the NBA is going for me in the new year. Now we are in January. This is my second season still. And I want to talk to you guys about the All-Star Weekend and the MPV voting. Now for me, I am the number three point guard in the East going into this new year that's on the list for the All-Star Weekend starting point guard position. And it's very hard for me to get the top two spots. Now in the first spot, we have John Wall. And in the second spot, we have Derrick Rose, the guy that I'm going up against tonight. So I'm here to kill Derrick Rose and anybody on his team who's willing to try to stop me. Now right here, I'm just going to no-sell Stoudemire's injury. I'm going to grab the ball and go down like our offense is running on all cylinders. Now back to this MVP and All-Star Weekend thing. Now I just got some new fans from Pharrell. I got my Gatorade deal. And I still can't beat my man out in these voting polls. Now I'm going to show you guys this at the end of the video. But you guys are going to see what, how the voting is going so far. Now let me talk to you guys about John Wall for a minute. John Wall isn't averaging as many points as I am, but he's averaging a shitload of assists. I think he's averaging a double-double, and I think he's averaging about 24 points. Derrick Rose, on the other hand, me and him are like night and day. Um, I think I average about seven assists. He averages about the same, and I think he averages maybe about two points more than I do. Which is kind of crazy because, you know, I have been simming games. I won't lie about that. Um, I've only been playing the games that offer me 650 VC per game. But I have a better deal than John Wall. Um, I think my deal is for like 15 million for four years. And I think John Wall's is for like 14. But Derrick Rose, he's getting money. We're not, going, we're not even going to talk about his type of money. But uh, right now, the Chicago Bulls are doing damage to me right now. And that pass alone put me on a Richter. I was kind of mad going into the second quarter. I was like, it's no reason that these guys should be up. So, you know, we turned the burners on. We turned on the Jets. We turned on our offensive insights. And not right now, we're on the seesaw with them trying to come back. But did you see that brick wall right there? It's like I pushed off of that man when I set that screen. That's what we do out here. But uh, about the MVP voting, what I want to say about that, Kevin Durant, of course, is at the top of the list. I have no problem with that. Me, I'm at the bottom of the list. I have a problem with that. <laughs> now this is the thing. Uh, for player of the week, I think I have two player of the weeks. LeBron James has two player of the weeks. Derrick Rose has two. John Wall has two. Uh, Kevin Durant I think has two or three. Can't really remember about Kevin Durant, but you know all the guys on the list for MVP of course deserve it. But I think with my team and how I've been playing, I think I deserve a little bit more. And I think I need to show it here. So within the whole span of January and February, I'm going to be playing every single game, no matter if they're 350 VC, 500, 650, whatever the numbers are, whatever the metrics are. I'm going to be playing every single game because I need to get on at the top of these lists real soon. And I think I'll get more endorsements and um, the people that I am already endorsed by will actually give me more saying that I've done, you know, MVP, All-Star Weekend, starting point guard, things of that nature. But check out the nice pass down to my man Stoudemire. I seen the double team coming, so I had to get it out of my hands quickly. Um, one little trick that I want to tell you guys is when you're getting double team and you throw a lot of... Um, Passes that get overthrown, underthrown, tip, things like that. What you want to do is when you're going in and, you know, you see the double team coming, back up a little bit. Give yourself a little bit of space to make the pass because you don't want to be in an animation where it looks like it's about to be a jump ball and then try to pass out of that because your guy would do something that doesn't even make any sense. Now, right here, we've taken the lead. We're up one. I'm calling a little nice little pick and roll. I pull up for the tray ball. You know it's cash. We already starting it off right now with a nice little lead. Me back in the game just makes sense. Now, I wanted to tell you guys about what we do after these timeouts happen. I'm back on Derrick Rose. He want me to put pressure on the defense, right? Yeah, that's right. Y'all hear the music. Y'all know what time it is. It's cookie time. It's time for me to make magic happen out here in these streets. So we got a beat by my man Jalil Beats. Check out 808 God, the album. A lot of people have been asking about it. But this ain't about the album. It's about these cookies right here. Give me that. We are on a break. You see my mellow and mellow. 
Bang! Let's go. My man Melo doing it up. Make sure you leave a like on this video. We turning up in Chicago. Bang bang! What y'all know about that Chief Keef though? You know what I'm saying? My fault, my fault, my fault. We're not gonna take talk about gangster music right now. Back to this game. Me and D Rose have been going at it all game. Um in the first half, you guys seen that he only scored about nine points. I had only about eight points. I had a few more assists than he did, but you know, we've kind of been on like some type of seesaw all game. Now check out the block that I get here and the shot clock violation. I'm literally locking D Rose down. Now in the last video, uh people were telling me that Tony Parker was flaming me, but you guys gotta understand. When I'm not in the game, other people score. You guys saw that right before the uh, half in the second quarter, I took off more than half of the quarter. Sometimes that's when the other guy gets all of his points off, you know? Me, I get a lot of minutes. And, you know, sometimes I'm playing shooting guard. Sometimes they put me in that small forward, surprisingly. But Noah gets the block, rolls out on a break, and he gets a nice little teardrop to go. I was overzealous there. I was just trying to block his shot, so I jumped at any given thing that was out there. But coming back down, I want to give him a little bit of payback. So we're going to call a nice little pick and roll here. I don't see anybody open until I get down low to my man Stoudemire. He puts D Rose in the post and gets the one to go. And I get the nice little assist with that one. So, you know, we we doing it up. But uh, let me tell you guys something real quick. Playing against Derrick Rose isn't like playing against Steph Curry. He doesn't have the best jump shot in the, in the game, but he can get past you at any given moment. So I've really been trying to sag off from him lately, as well as follow my point of emphasis. Um, like NBA 2K uh, team said that the point of emphasis are very key this year because if you don't play by the point of emphasis, your team is going to get torched. So like if they say protect the paint, you really want to protect the paint. You know, give guys some open shots. You know, don't be scared to give open shots up. Um, if they say, you know, stop all shooters, you want to press up and, you know, let them drive in on you because at that given time, you know, two points is better than three. But right now, me and Derrick Rose are going at it. It's 66 to 61. And he gets that nice little layup to go while bullying me over. You know, I think he may be the heavier uh, guy, even though I'm uh, one inch taller. Now, right now, he has 17 points, but I got some behind the back action going on. So I get the nice little jump shot to go with a hand in my face. And I had somebody else contesting. Now, check out D Rose in his little stutter step. A few seconds on the clock. We got mad defense all up in his face. We get the rebound. You know what time it is, man. I'm calling for it, asking for it. And he finally passes me the ball, and I get a foul going. That's how crazy this game is getting, man. The game is almost over. We're up three. Okay, guys. On defense, no inside looks. Nothing. That means one foot in the paint, helping on all drives and contesting everything at the rim. Now, let's do it. All right. So, with that right there, I told you guys how this point of emphasis goes. We have to make sure that we guard everything in the paint. I see my man Anthony in the corner, but I couldn't get it to him fast enough trying to put put on a nice little icon pass but I do see my man Tim Hardaway over there on the wing and I hit him for the three you know doing big things now this right here was probably the scariest part of the game for me I was calling some plays right he hit the tray now right now our point of emphasis says guard the paint but he told me that it was cool to let him shoot, man. But Jimmy Butler nails that thing, man. So right now, we're only up three. I'm trying to put the nails in the coffin with the Steph Curry free throw. And things are looking pretty good, you know. I think that we can hold them off here. You know, we're up five. 13 seconds left on the clock. But guess what? They take this time out. Now, y'all know how we do out of timeouts, right? But I didn't tell y'all about what Chicago do out of timeouts. So y'all about to see right here, man. Things is about to get turned real fast. Now, you notice they still have all the fans in the building. Everybody's in their seats. Oh, man. Just check out what happens here, man. I sag off, you know, get beat by D. Rose. He kicks it out to the man, McDermott, for three. Bang, bang. And I'm like, oh, no. So D. Rose gets a foul. That is literally his first foul of the game. I don't know how. I don't know why. I don't know who paid the refs off, but just D-Rose just wasn't fouling me all night. I don't know what I had to do to get these foul calls, but it wasn't going my way all night. But I do get them here, man, when it counts. Now, we have 6.7 left in the game, and this game is 
clearly out of their hands because they don't have any more timeouts. So they have to run the full length of the floor. And D Rose gets the ball past me, pulls up for the trade ball, doesn't hit it. We get the rebound, and that's game time, folks. Let's go ahead and talk to Doris real quick before the player of the game. And I also still want to show you guys those stats for uh, MVP and All-Star Weekend votes. So uh, let's hop into it. I hope you liked the video, man. You know, I love y'all. Hold it down. Well, your defense was obviously a huge part of getting the win here. How much of an emphasis was that for you guys tonight? Uh, Coach is always stressing defense to us. And I never want to let even him or the rest of the team down. Our goal every night is to come out and get them trouble running their offense. And I think we accomplished that tonight. You earned every bit of this win. Congratulations. Kevin? All right, ladies and gentlemen, as promised, I'm going to show you guys the award races for MVP, as well as the starting position for point guard for the East in the, what is this, 2016 All-Star Weekend? Oh, yeah. But uh, Kevin Durant is at the top of that list. I'm at the bottom. Derrick Rose and John Wall is on that list, surprisingly. You know, doing it up. That's four people in the East to only one person in the West. You already know what time we on. Um, right now, John Wall, Derrick Rose, me, Kyrie, Kyle, Dwayne Wade. I don't know why he's on the backcourt list, but okay. You know, it is what it is. But um, I may even get a starting spot as a shooting guard. You never know. You never know. But uh, I do make more money than them fools. <laughs> but um, I also got player of the week three times. I'm doing it. But I'm going to holler at you guys in the next video, man. This is IKC signing out. I hope to see you guys below in the comment section. I'm going to be responding. Peace. Yeah.